make it make it personal. But that way I can use the knob all the way up and down as I need to and get that really um, squash sound when I need to, as well as I can get just a medium compression or just a little light touch, you know. So I typically would keep it somewhere around 11 o'clock or 10, 11 o'clock, somewhere around there. <laughs> right but then you add on the OC5 So as you can see, even even if you were to use it all the way down, you know, depending on how you got it set, you don't even have to switch it on and on as much. But it just adds a little bit to the chords. And just so you can hear exactly what it's doing, I'll bring it up just a little bit. So this gives you plenty of options um, with this with that particular sound. Of course, you know, lots of chordal things you can do. And if you just want a straight up synth sound, I pr actually prefer the poly um, side of it. Um, and I use the, just the octave down. And the cool thing, cool thing about it is with this uh, multi-stomp, you got six effects right there. So anything I want to do chorus-wise or, or modulation-wise, you know, uh, modulation effects or delay, reverb, um, filters. Um, I even have a bit crusher in there and a ring mod, I believe. So I believe the ring mod is in there. Um, but I know the bit crusher is in there. So, you know, it also has 
my um they changed the name of it to it's it's, it's they call it the low pass filter now but it's it's pretty much their m filter from the previous series which is my favorite filter i thought they took it out and and they actually just renamed it and that's amazing this is my favorite um filter effect on these zoom units so i'm glad they put it back let's hear a little bit of that though well no 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 we can't we can't just skip over like this sorry guys i was about to skip over but then we got the the ehx deep freeze um so what i like to do is i'll take that synth sound before we even get to the ms70 cdr plus yeah now i'm using the deep freeze like a um sustain pedal of sorts you know and i can i can do different things i can stack notes or i can just get into the real um different territory of sounds you know um sound um some real um create some real soundscapes you know some just some real imagery And so that's just the Spectra Comp, the OC5, and the Deep Freeze. And I have the Deep Freeze on auto mode. Um, you know, I don't know if you can you guys see that. So what I got, what I got so far is just the octave down on the OC5. Then on the Deep Freeze, I have just the just the effect signal, no dry signal, and I have it in um, auto mode, which is the red mode, and I have the speed layer knob set to about 12 noon, and I have the glissando set to about uh, about eight, about eight. You know what I'm saying? Talking about the face of a clock, by the way. I don't know if y'all even, everybody even know what analog clocks look like anymore. You know, but you know you'll have to look it up. And where you see eight o'clock is where that knob will be. <laughs> um. All right, so let's move on. And the thing I love about this little pedal board is just right there, I got, I got a ton of shaping capabilities. I got everything I need from solo tones to synth tones from the OC5, you know, if I wanted to, um, before we even get there, if I wanted to just do... <laughs> So I can even get my guitar synth type sounds, um, do rhythm guitar type stuff or do solo type stuff, you know, um, with that. And that's just the special comp in OC5, you know, I can add some delay and reverb with the um, MS70 CDR Plus as well. But, you know, this um, deep freeze is crazy. It's a it's a mix between the freeze pedal and the um, super ego, um, so it's got that nice glissando effect. You can stack chords. Let's see which mode. This mode. Put it back. 
ako aroma. So it's just like having a, like a sustain pedal kind of like for your bass, which is really cool, um, especially when you're doing chordal things and you're, um, you know, just experimenting with different sounds. You know, it's 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 quite a amazing piece of gear in that way. Um, very simple to use. Um, doesn't take up any space. I love these nano pedals. As you can see, three out of the five. Um, main uh, actual effects pedals is uh, mini pedals you know these little nano pedals and they can do so much now like they these pedals used to have to be almost the size of this board <laughs> to get these type of sounds now they decide they something that fit that your hand can just cover up you know but all right let's keep it moving so now we're going to come up you can just leave the spectra comp on. That's the other good thing about the spectra comp. Really, I could, um, if I raise them legs up, I can mount the power supply and um, this the spectra comp underneath because I really don't need to ever touch the spectra comp like that, you know. But I do like to have access to it to be able to change now, so I probably will keep it right there. But, you know, that's also an option, you know. Or, you know, we got the um, Tonex 1 here which is, you know, really being a real powerhouse of the board there in terms of it also, it has unlimited amp models. So pretty much everything I have in my room, um, my studio here, office, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, I can pretty much, I pretty much have in there all my preamps. So all these preamps you see, all these analog preamps, including things like the, the color box, um, got that in there and all these presets are going to be available for you guys so don't worry about it you'll be able to buy them and everything i'm gonna have um different packs i'm gonna have my settings for the ms uh, 70 cdr plus i'm gonna have my settings for the ms 60 b plus which is this one right here um what else i'm gonna have um all these different eq settings i have for all my different preamps and magellan um, Gensler, Magellan, excuse me, AG, Aguilar, AG Preamp, Eden, Digbe, 